Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. In this video, we'll be talking about the SM-3 surface-to-air missile fire from Navy ships. Please remember to like and subscribe. Alright, fact 1, exo-atmospheric. The SM-3 missile is designed to be fired from Navy ships to hit targets in the air. The SM-3 missile is typically designed to intercept air targets. These air targets range from simple drones, rockets, missiles, all the way up to intercontinental ballistic missiles. The ICBMs are the most extreme case, and the SM-3 missile is designed to destroy them as well. The SM-3 missile is able to reach really high altitudes outside of the atmosphere, hence the term exo-atmospheric. It is able to intercept the intercontinental missile outside of Earth's atmosphere, and thereby destroying it without really impacting too much. Because if you imagine, if it doesn't destroy the missile outside the atmosphere, it will create a lot of collateral damage in terms of all the fragments and crash debris that comes down. However, being able to destroy it outside the atmosphere means that all the debris will burn up in the atmosphere upon re-entry and thereby causing minimal collateral damage. Alright, let's get into the next fact. Fact 2, Anti-Satellite. As I mentioned in the previous section, this SM-3 missile can reach really high altitudes. It is able to escape Earth's gravity and go beyond the atmosphere. By having the capability to go into near orbit, this missile is also used to take out satellites. It is a well-known anti-satellite missile system that can be used to destroy targets on Earth's orbit. So far, the only anti-satellite operation has been conducted is within the US's own satellite programs. The US has not used this missile to shoot down other enemy satellites. However, the SM-3 missile does have the capability to do this. And so many countries want to get their hands on this type of missile because if you can imagine, you can destroy enemy's satellite from the ocean. You can render their communication and surveillance systems completely inoperable. Alright, fact 3. Kinetic Warhead. The SM-3 missile doesn't actually pack an explosive warhead. Most of this missile is the propellant necessary to get it up to the atmosphere and beyond. Most of the propellant is designed to propel the kinetic warhead as far and as high as possible to intercept its targets. And so because it rises up above the Earth's atmosphere in such great heights, also at very high speeds, there's really no need to pack any sort of explosives. Because since it's traveling at such a great speed, when it hits the enemy target, the kinetic energy, that means the pure momentum that the SM-3 missile warhead carries, can take out almost anything. And so the SM-3 missile actually does not have any explosive warhead. It does not have any explosive ordnance on top of its missile. Most of the missile, again, is the propellant, the rocket fuel, necessary to propel the rocket all the way to outer atmosphere and beyond. Alright, let's get into the next fact. Fact 4. Three stages. As I mentioned in the previous sections, the SM-3 missile could traverse all the way up outside the atmosphere into near-Earth orbit. And to do this, it has three different stages of rocket extension. The first stage is a booster of solid fuel and then the second stage is a dual thrust rocket motor, also solid fuel. And the third stage is the rocket motor, also solid fuel, that is designed to propel it all the way close to the target. Once near the target, there's actually technically a fourth stage, which is a throttleable divert altitude control system that basically shoots and course corrects as much as it can from using small amounts of propellant 
to push it to the right direction. As you can see, this missile is really composed of entirely rocket propellant and solid fuel. Because it needs to get such a high altitude, this is really all it necessarily needs. And then the kinetic energy can be used to destroy its target. Alright, let's get into the next and final fact. $12 million each. What's very interesting about the SM3 missile is that it's been a long time in service. It has been used since 2014. And in the beginning, when they were developing the missile, it was to be cost around 9 to 20 million dollars. However, the cost steadily went up and went up to 18 million dollars in 2018. But I think because of production maturity, the rocket now costs about 12 million each. It's still a very hefty price for a missile. However, remember the capabilities. It can destroy intercontinental cruise missiles from enemy countries. That means if they attempt to tr fire a nuclear warhead at you, you could take out that warhead while it's in space. And also take out enemy satellites, which prevents the enemy from communicating and losing all surveillance capabilities from space. And so even though it is about $12 million per missile, I think it's well worth it for the fact that this is essentially a missile that could go into space. And if you think about it, if you engineer it correctly, perhaps you could use this missile to launch satellites. Because instead of the kinetic warhead, you would then place a payload, a satellite, on top of it and launch it into orbit. Alright, that's it for my video today. Thank you so much for watching. Please remember to like and subscribe. See you next time.